All right, y'all, we trying something. I saw this on the internet and it's legit, so we gonna try it. Chicken in a bunk pan, all right? Now, y'all, what we gonna do, we gonna take some, uh, some stuff. So I have some cut up onion. All right, so I guess if I had a bigger bunk pan, that might be okay. I think this chicken's about five pounds, um, but that's it. All right, y'all, we have some carrots. Okay. Carrots. All right, y'all, this is, this is gonna be fun. I'm excited to try this. I've never tried this before, y'all. This is, I learned on the internet, I did. This is like a trend that a lot of people are trying, so here we are, all right? They say it's good, so we gonna see. All right, now we have some potatoes, all right? So we just filling this up. Uh, yeah, nothing's gonna expand, so we good. We're gonna fill it up to the top with these veggies. All right, y'all, so I have some fresh rosemary. We're just gonna put this around too, all right? We're gonna put it around our chicken. Some fresh herbs, whatever kind of herbs y'all like. Uh, there we go, that looks great. I also have some fresh thyme. Uh, you know what, y'all? I want it, this to be pretty, so this is what we gonna do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but guess what, y'all? I don't care, I think it looks pretty. It's like a decoration and dinner, all in one. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, y'all, so I learned this on the internet, and um, we gonna see if it's good. I, I, like I said, I never. this is one that I've never tried. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try it, but I'm just gonna film me trying it, all right? So now y'all, I have a, a little, about a half stick of melted butter, all right? So we're just gonna pour this on top of the chicken and let it fall. And even if it goes inside the hole, that's fine too. If y'all wanna use olive oil instead, you can, but y'all know, y'all know how I feel about my butter. We're gonna drizzle this on the veggies too. All right, all right, that looks great. I'm excited. All right, y'all, we also here, this is this, Y'all can use whatever kind of seasonings you want, but I'm gonna use, uh, I have a packet of the onion onion dip and soup mix. So we're gonna put this right on top of our chicken. And we're also gonna get some on the counter. That's real important. <laughs> All right, y'all, just like that. Um, I have some other spices too, because I just wanna, I, I like flavor. I have some pepper, garlic powder, and paprika in here. All right, y'all, so we're just gonna put this on top too. Um, yeah, y'all, so I'm, I don't know. I'm excited to try this. It seems like smart, like everything's in one pan and yeah, I don't know, we gonna see. Um, just make sure you cover that the bunt hole with a piece of foil. So this is what we have, y'all. I feel like this looks real pretty, Bridgie, don't it? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> what if Bridgie said no, y'all? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> be like, that looks terrible. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're gonna cook this in the oven at 425 for about an hour and 15 minutes, and uh, we gonna try it together, y'all. I'm so excited. Look at this little baby. He's just so cute. I love Kevin so much, y'all. Y'all know when I go out of town, I miss Kevin and Frankie, Fufus and Jeannie more than I miss Fred. Y'all understand. Don't tell Fred. <laughs> All right, baby, I just love you so much. You're my little baby. Gosh, you're so cute. Okay. All right, y'all, here we have it. Look at this. It was our uh, bunt pan chicken. I learned this on the internet. I never tried it. Um, two things. One, I cooked it at 425 for about an hour and 15 minutes. Two, I cheated. Uh, obviously the herbs burnt in the oven, so I just took out the burnt ones and replaced it with new ones for presentation, but at least everything cooked with the herbs. So, um, yeah, y'all, I'm excited to try this. So, um, I, I honestly don't even know really how to do this, but we, we gonna, we gonna go for it. Okay. Um, so we have some good, like there's a, a good amount of liquid down here, which is great. So we're going to get some of these veggies and put them on our plate. Um, every time I make chicken at home, yeah, I always save the juice and just let the chicken soak in it. Uh, when I peel it off because it's so good. All right, get some of these carrots. All right, that's good. Um, okay, y'all, here we go. So let's see, where's the, I think this, we're gonna, we're gonna turn it around and uh, we're just gonna try some of the white meat. We're gonna try to try some of the white meat. We're gonna see what it's like in here. All right. So y'all know, make sure your chicken's cooked all the way when a, a, a thermometer insert, inserted reaches 165. Is that what it's supposed to be? I don't even remember, but yeah, make sure y'all. That's right, right, Bridget? 165, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm just gonna take out a little bit of this and, and we gonna try it just, cause I just wanna see what the flavor's like, all right? So it's done and uh, yeah, it's just an interesting way to try it. So um, let me get some of this juice down here. Remember, I used the French onion soup seasoning and some butter, so we gonna try it. Here we go, y'all, let's see. Let's see if this is the way I'm gonna be cooking chicken from now on. All right, all right, y'all. Um, actually, it's real good. It's super moist, so I think I think definitely you could do this. I would say my error, it needs more seasoning because usually when, when you cook a chicken in the pan, I usually put a bunch of stuff in, in the cavity, is that what it's called? 
So without that, I feel like it's a little bland, but um, if I could figure out how to do that, I would, I would do this again. But also, I don't know if you can do that because it's standing straight up, so how are you gonna put that stuff in? So I'm glad I tried it, it actually worked. Um, it's nice, you can cook everything in one pan, but I think I would actually stick to just doing it in a regular pan, but it was fun, delicious.